Our souls are continually in motion. They divide, they scatter, they proliferate themselves. Sometimes they grow bigger, at other times smaller, and so forth. But what is happening now? Why are you standing dead still? Are you in pain? Or perhaps you're simply being careless? There's an infinity of ways in which you can move from that spot over there to here. But do your movements allow us to feel your spirit? Have you figured out those movements in your head? Or are we seeing your soul in motion? Even that fleck on the tip of your nail embodies your soul. Every single stride you make is carrying your soul. Steel and iron in their natural states, for example, also have a soul. It's simply not a case of physically moving from one spot to another. The essential thing is that your movements, even when you're standing still, embody your soul at all times. Invest your dance with power, but your dance will only be powerful when you are who you are. Kazuo Ono, from without and within. We make sense of the world through our senses. To hear, to see, to smell, to taste, are ways of bringing the external world within. The ears translate sound waves and the eyes light. The nose and the tongue interpret chemicals from little molecules of earth entering the body. Touch also fulfills this task of making the external world comprehensible. From the nerve endings of the skin, we feel pressure, temperature, texture, movement. But unlike the other four senses, touch is unique in its ability to also be a portal of projection, making the inner world external. Every work of art, even when intended primarily for one of the other senses, involves touch. Every object to be experienced requires touch to some degree. Even as you sleep, your skin is awake, perceiving your position in space and time. Touch is sacred. By simply existing as a physical body, you are marking your presence. You touch the world as you stand on it. You touch the lives of others by simply being. You matter. You are matter. The skin is the largest organ of the body and acts as a barrier, a container, a gateway, a border, a shield, and a sword. Touch is power. In the first few months of life, as the eyes adjust, touch is the primary mode of perception and communication. Touch is primal. It carries intention through creation and destruction. Touch is pleasure, sometimes pain, sometimes both. Touch is a reminder, a simple accidental brush against a stranger, or an embrace from a loved one, both communicate the message, I exist and so do you. We are experiencing this life together in this brief moment of connection. Touch is an ongoing conversation with the universe. So what are you saying as your feet push 
against the ground. What are you saying? As you reach, as you push, pull, and take up space. Extend your arms and sing through your movements. Feel as the world touches you and as you touch the world. And listen for its response. Look for the signs. Smell it in the air carried to you over miles and miles and miles. Taste life and all its wonders. Touch and be touched. <laughs>